This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Salesforce Advanced Integration. And the topic for today's video is how to set up and configure SOAP UI to test SOAP API calls. In my previous video, I have demonstrated how to use Google REST API, Google Chrome extension to test REST API or the Postman tool to test REST API calls from Salesforce. Uh, this is a new tool named as SOAP UI and it is mainly used to test the SOAP as well as the REST API calls from Salesforce. So let's begin and let me demonstrate you how to use this tool. So first of all, this is my tool interface and the version I'm using is SOAP UI 5.5.0. And to download this tool, you can visit this link soapuiorg slash download slash soapui.html and you can download professional one or the open source one. And as you can see in my open source one, I have got limitations. So it depends if you want to go for open source one or professional one. For professional one, you need to register and you will get a 14 days trial version and for open source there is no expiration you can use it as long as you want so i have downloaded the open source one and installed it and therefore i got this tool installed on my desktop the next thing we required is the wsdl file because we are going to test the soap ui calls soap api calls and for that wsdl files are required so I, I search for APIs and after API, I look for uh, API WSDL and from here I click generate enterprise WSDL and click on generate and then I will save this file in my local machine on my desktop as an enterprise dot WSDL, which I have already done. Earlier, so that's the enterprise .wsdl file which I'm going to use in so in in order to test it. Now let's get back to SOAP UI interface, and here I'm going to create a new SOAP project, and I'll give name as BISP SOAP U SOAP uh, API test project. We need to add the initial WSDL and i click on browse and i'll select for i select for my desktop and in desktop i select enterprise wsdl and click on open so uh, i attach the wsdl file along with this project click on ok and when you click on ok it will load all the definitions and the uh, basically it will add all the definitions and the functions which used to perform operation now the first of all i want to make a new request login request so i search for login login request i select login login double click on login request it will open a login request if it is not opening just say right click and show request editor it will open one editor for you and here in this editor uh, what we need to do is as you can see here, we are getting certain informations like certain tags are coming. So PNV header, so PNV body, and it is asking for username and password. So I'm I'm not using any organization ID. So first of all, I just remove this organization ID. I don't require this, so I just remove this login scope header. And for username password, instead of this question mark, we need to provide our username and password. And my username is this. So I just provide my username, Salesforce username, and my password is admin123456. Make sure uh, if security token is required, you need to pass security token as well. And once I pass username and password, we click on this button to test the output, to test the connectivity. And you can see the connectivity has been done successfully. And we are getting the server URL and session ID. So it this indicates that the connectivity has been done successfully. Now next is I want to make a call for inserting or creating a new record in account. So I just wanted to create a new account using SOAP API calls. So I just scroll up and look for create 
function so create and i'm just adding a new request create request so let me switch here and make it bigger and in request now in request uh, we would be requiring session id so the uh, the tags which are not required i just remove the tags which is not required by me because i don't need them so these are unused tags for me right now so i just because i don't want to set any assignment rules i don't want to set any uh, duplicate rules header have you can set it now in session header it is looking for session id and this session id you will you can extract from you have received the session id in the previous request we made a we we call we made a request so i just copy this session id and uh, i just copy this session id from there and paste it over here in this request and after that uh you are in fields to null id i don't need that so i just remove that uh then s object i don't need s objects because uh sorry we need this s object this one but this uh, the tags which are not required i just remove that and in s object so in which object we would like to store data so i just write xs i type is equal to account so i would, we would like to store the we would like to create new record into account xml ns xsi that's a syntax which you can copy and paste it uh, and we can reuse it multiple times http www.org www.w3.org slash 2001 slash xml schema instance and uh, uh, i would like to create name slash name and uh, i want to insert phone slash phone so i just write soap api ui test account and its phone number so i just give phone number as one two three four five six seven eight now when i click on when i submit this request it is throwing an error message to me and you see the error message is the unknown exception destination url is not reset so the destination for uh, you might be facing this issue multiple times so how to solve this how to solve this issue in order to solve this issue we need to get to the previous request we made for the login one and whatever url is coming we need to copy this url from here and use that url for making a request in create request we need that url and now when i click on when i made a request i got an update that the request is success and the record is inserted successfully this is the record id let's go and check the account has a new account has been inserted or not and if it has been inserted what's the id for it so i'll just get back click on uh, sales accounts accounts and uh, new this week you can see a new record has been inserted named as soap api ui test account and when i open this uh, this id is equivalent to this id so let's check it and let, let's verify the id is correct so this id is equivalent to this id the last three characters which are added it indicates that it has been it's uh, x uh, it, this call has been made from external services but the record is success and we got the informations we got the informations as desired you can see that's the account name and that's the phone number so this tool makes so simple and easy to test all the apis call before actual implementing in any of the application this is just for testing purpose so that's all in this video if you like this video don't forget to press like button if you have some queries you can post your comments in comment box if you need a customized training on salesforce specifically on integration you can contact to us you can reach out to us on www.bisptrainings or bispsolutions.com thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye